you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Born in cancer, it's your girl D Virgo Tarot 2222, and it's 444 a.m. in the UK, London. Coming at you with messages from spirit and God themselves. Just seeing what I go on for you, family. Just checking up and seeing what I go on. This is like a doctor's GP checkup. Just checking in with your doctor, the Virgo Tarot, and telling her what I go on for you. Are you healing? Are you still going through your dark night of the shadow? Have you found your person? Or have you just gone through a breakup? Let's see what the cards have to say for you, Cancer. Let's get to your reading. Yes, family. As you can hear, my voice is going. Pure madness, pure madness. But it's all right, we're okay. So, look what your girl did. Look what your girl did. And I didn't even know, because I just combined two packs of John Holland, both decks, the heart deck and the psychic deck. But when I was shuffling, Spirit must have made me combine them. The queen of the um the moon oracle deck as well. So now we have three packs for you, Cancer. Wow, Quan. Spirit has a word for Cancer. Do you know how long it took me to shuffle this shit? Huh? I had to break it down into three and then shuffle it. So no, I won't be shuffling it for you, naysayers in the back. You only see me shuffle it so spirit can spit out your messages. But let's see what the base energy is, because you know we have to have a peek at that shit. <laughs> your motherfucking dreams are about to come true about fucking time you've been going through it for some of you most of your life been going through abuse witness to abuse but here you are at the end of all of that shit Karmic cycles come to an end. You shed that old skin. Or you're shedding it. And it hurts like fucking hell. Feeling left out. Not belonging anywhere. I feel a sense of belonging coming over you. A sense of pride. A sense of coming into your own cancer. I see you just coming into light, this light, all of that dark shit you're coming out of. It's a brand new dawn for you. Your dreams are about to come fucking true, Cancer. Wish upon a star. Wish fulfillments. I see new love. I see an offer of love so beautiful. It is your dream come true. I see that you've changed your focus, you've changed your whole mindset. Some of you changed your job. Some of you changed your partner. But some things just had to die, had to die. It wasn't serving you no purpose. And look, new love, fresh love, clarity of belief. I see you having so much clarity. Going on a new journey. Falling in love with yourself, with that man, that woman in the mirror. Then I see new love coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see someone offering you love, offering their hand in marriage, wanting to marry you. I see all eyes on you. The focus coming onto you finally. People finally calling your name. Putting some respect on your name. I see God and Spirit themselves got a hand in this. Breathing new life. New life. New life. Unblocking them chakras. Opening them up. Opening you up to the possibilities. They're endless. Changing that mindset of lack. That mindset of abuse, ch breaking those chains. I see you shining, Cancer. Like the star that you are. Some of you are light workers. Broken down. Broken to pieces.
just so the light could come in, so that you could let it shine, so that you could turn around and heal, end some people's pains, put a voice to the voiceless. I see you standing in your truth and shining, Cancer, fucking shining. I told you you're light workers, teachers, people listen, they want to know what you have to say. You put a voice to their voice. You can tell their story. I see you taking that very thing that made you feel left out in the cold and writing a book, writing a blog, telling your story, writing a song. Dreaming of the impossible, making it come true. I told you, a lot of you are light workers. You had to be broken. And that shit wasn't easy. It wasn't for the weak. That's why you was chosen. You was chosen for this path. The path that you're on right now is going to lead you to abundance. And you're almost there coming up out of the darkness. I see some of you still going through your dark night of the soul, through your storm. But look. You're about to ascend. I see you ascending. Becoming masters in your own right. Releasing the past. Releasing the pain. For some of you, releasing the ex. That that person that's just not serving you anymore. Those family members. Those friends. Those so-called friends. Those friend enemies. That thing you was doing. Those drugs you was touching. I see you releasing addictions. Releasing pain. Releasing trauma. Being at peace with yourself, letting the light in, opening up yourself to be broken by God and Spirit themselves, trusting. I see you spending time alone, alone reflecting, reading, researching, homing in on your skills, on your intuition. I see you spending time with God and Spirit. Told you you're reflecting, you're ascending. What you're going through right now is all part of the ascension process, people. This shit is not pretty. It's not for the weak. But you was chosen. They want you to stand in your truth, win or lose. Stand in it. Speak your truth at all times. Walk in your truth at all times. Be the truth that you want to see. Be the change. I see everything coming together and making sense for you, Cancer. I see love finding you, finally. I see someone wanting to take you on with your child or coming in with their child. I see blended families. I see new love and I see children coming in. I see babies. Somebody's pregnant and going to be giving birth to a little boy. I see so much partnerships and so much release. So much peace and so much love. Because you embrace the call upon your life. Or you're embracing it. You're embracing the path that you have to take. I see you growing. Roots have been set. Foundations have been set. Some of you will be traveling. Some of you, when you speak your truth and become that teacher, become that leader... That shit's going to take you across the world. You're going to be teaching. Encouraging, uplifting. Some of you are going to be, what's that word? Um, Motivational speakers. I see you traveling. Spreading love, spreading light. Because a lot of you are suffering in silence. Some of you are still here, in your lonely place, in your head. Stuck in the past, the what-ifs, the shoulda, couldas. The broken place, the brokenness. The place where you is broken. Some of you are still stuck here in your solitude, in your loneliness. Trapped in a prison that you can't seem to break, shake. But they want you to speak your truth and stand in it. Release your tongue. 
Set yourself free from this emotional loss that you experienced. Whether it was someone taking your virginity without consent, whether it was you witnessing things that you shouldn't as a child, whether you just had to lose someone because they died and passed over, or you're going through a bad breakup and you just can't seem to get over it. For some of you, you've been left out by your family and friends, misunderstood, unheard, unseen, passed over, doubted. No one saw you in your pain. For some of you, no one sees you in your pain. You're all alone, alone in your head. You've locked yourself away. But they want you to stand, cancer, stand in your truth, talk your truth. Cause I'm not gonna lie, this shit's not for the weak. You're going through some challenging times, but you're coming out of it. There's a shift about to happen in your life. I see new offers of love, stable love, love that will endure the test of time. Love that you don't have to question anymore. Love that's going to come in and end your solitude and end your pain. They think it's a well-deserved reward for you. You've been toiling for so long. Knock back after knock back. There's so much goodness coming in. I see a financial windfall. I see you working your way to the top. Get in there, coming up out of your sadness, up out of your isolation. You know that place that you locked yourself away in, where no one can get to you. I see you coming up out now, the shining like the star that you fucking are. And I see you being celebrated for it. Being stars, <coughs> sorry cancer, being light workers. I see you coming up out of your dark night of the soul, stronger, wiser, lighter. You dropped those things that no longer serve you. You transformed your life. You transformed your mind. And here you are. (coughs) Partnerships, foundations and achievements. You achieved so much. Everything that you sold back in, whatever year you planted it, is about to come to fruition. Those challenging times, you're going to look back and know that they were all for a reason, part of your path. I see good things. I see movements. I see you moving into, moving in with your partner, your partner moving in with you. I see marriages. I see foundations being set for you and your children. I see children coming in. I see blessings. So much blessings. I see money. I see love. And there's the blossom. I see you're a light worker. You can heal. You can manipulate energy. Just like me, I do Ricky healing. I believe a lot of you have the ability to do this. Time to set your intentions and home in on your skills and share your love, share your light. I see you've had to rebuild your life from scratch. Rebuild your heart from scratch after someone ripped it to shreds. But I see it being repaired after a stage of being going inside and repairing it by yourself in solitude with God. I see that you've ascended and grown your wings. You're going to be flying. I see your chakras being unblocked, being cleansed. I see you being made anew. But most of all, I see you being at peace. At peace with yourself. At peace in your mind. Peace in your mind, Cancer. Knowing who the fuck you are. You know who you are. You don't need to be told. You don't need validation. I see you in love with yourself. Told your ascended masters, manifesting the future that you want. Manifesting the love that you want. Creating a balance, a 
balance in your life. No longer imbalanced. No longer the one most likely to fail. I see people looking up at you, not understanding how you just came up out of the shadows and succeeding. Because I see so much growth. Because this path is so lonely. So fucking lonely. But I told you this shit, it's not for the weak cancer. It's not for the weak. But you were chosen to take this path. This path gets dark sometimes. You have to deal with your devils. They come out at you and there's no one to save you. You have to deal with the past. Those traumas. That abuse. That neglect. That rape. That domestic violence. That witnessing of domestic violence. All those things that fucked with your brain. That kept you trapped up in this void in your head. Now you've been chosen to take this path. This path leads you to the light cancer. Follow the path. You are getting downloads from God and Spirit themselves. They are giving you wisdom. Wisdom for your path ahead. For the journey ahead. For the work that you have to do. Master number 22. I hear reach for the stars. There's nothing that's out of your reach, Cancer. Tap into the energy. There's a new moon on a second. It's time for you to tap into this energy. I feel so much things turning around. They want you to be hungry for this shit. Hungry for the change that's about to happen. There's about to be a shift happening for Cancer. And your last card is success and growth, people. There's a shift happening. I feel it coming around. All of the shit that you had to endure throughout your life. I feel like people are going to be looking up at you when they were looking down at you. And the base energy says, just breathe, babies, just breathe. You know what Whitney Hill said? Whitney Hill, Whitney Houston says, come on, exhale. Everyone falls in love sometimes. Sometimes it's wrong, babies, but sometimes it's just right. For every win, someone must fail. But you're going to find your point, Cancer. When you will exhale, breathe. Time to love yourself. Love your person in the mirror. Embrace your flaws. Embrace your past. Embrace your mistakes. They're your lessons that you're going to turn into a blessing and into your abundance. Let's see what the tower has to say for you, my, my family, my family. At the bottom of the deck, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. I see a new offer coming in for you. A whole new offer. I see you taking action now. And it leads you to my engagement card, Six of Wands. Whatever you're cooking up, whatever you're about to do, whatever you're doing. I see recognitions and rewards coming in for you. I told you people's going to be looking at you on stage. You're going to be rewarded. For some of you, I told you, fucking star famous shit, your name in lights and that shit, I see the hierophant at the bottom of the deck, coming in to marry somebody here, so I definitely see marriages, because that's my ring card as well, someone wants to give you the recognition that you deserve cancer, finally, finally, for some of you it's a promotion from your boss, for some of you are going to step out in faith man, and create your whole business for yourself, Step out and be a motivational speaker. Do some type of healing work, some light work. But you're going to be rewarded and recognized for it. Uh, look at that. It's going to be communication coming in from someone. Someone's coming to tell you exactly what they think about you. Maybe a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. I see an offer that's going to bring a lot of money. Eight of Pentacles happening real fast for you. I see money coming in. I told you, you're making money. And he, <laughs> Gemini energy, your twin flame. But it's also you loving on yourself, loving on your masculine side, and loving on your feminine side. Just loving all parts of you, Cancer. Loving you finally, knowing that you're the shit. But that's also the lovers. Twin flames, soulmates, DF and DMs, partnerships and alliances. 
I see you getting married and creating a whole new life with this person. Maybe a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But I see stability and growth, if ever there was. And what did I tell you? Growth, growth, growth coming in. Because a lot of you had to deal with the devil in your life. Some of the, some, some of you, the devil was you. You was your own worst enemy. Self-sabotaging yourself at every fucking turn. So please, cancer, get out of your head and into your heart. Because look the fuck what's coming in for you. The sun. Brighter days. I see blessings and abundance coming over your life. If only you just want to receive it and trust this process. Let go of your control issues. You have to go through this dark night of the soul, this storm. Because it's going to bring you to your abundance. The sun follows the storm, people. Foundations. For some of you, you're refusing to see something, though. Maybe about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe it's your friends and family that are in your ears. Or maybe it's that person you're, you're trying to make a life with and it's just not working. They're abusive. They're just vindictive. They're borderline. Listen, they're borderline hitting you. Look at this. Abuse. You put the blindfolds on. Put your head in the sand about the situation. Because you love them. But I see heartbreak coming up. If you don't take these blindfolds off, heartbreak will come in for you. But if you do, I see so much growth with the Nine of Pentacles. Take off the blindfolds. It's either you choose heartbreak or growth. Because I know that you have the answers to your situation. Tap into your energy. Tap into your intuition. You are powerful, the High Priestess. Water energies. I know this is you tapping into your energies. Tapping into your power. And moving away from the bullshit. For some of you, this is fertility. You are going to get pregnant. I see pregnancies in your future. But like I told you, some of you are packing up home and moving in together. And some of you are moving away from your person, from some people, from the bullshit. But you are going on a whole new journey with the Fool's card. I see you're going to be trusting God and Spirit. Finally taking that leap of faith. Walking alone. Taking up the mantle. Going on your journey. Going on your path with your spirit team. Not alone. Going through your rebirth. Trusting the process because it's a judgment. You know the skills have to be balanced. That's you. Standing in your power now. Ever, ever strong. Nine of Wands. I see so much growth. I see so much fruition. So much dreams coming to fruition. I see you standing in the, in the face of adversity. Nothing can make you self-sabotage again. Look at the face of her. She knows who she is. The Nine of Wands speaks of a lot of burdens, but this card is not that. This card, this card is her mastering her burdens, mastering her emotions, not letting them overtake her, not letting her run her life, not making them self, make, not making them let her self sabotage herself. On the bottom of the deck of the Angel Messages cards. Or messages from the angels we see I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams cancer so I told you you're getting downloads some of you just don't understand what is happening to you you think there's voices in your head but they're not you need to listen you need to journal your dreams journal your thoughts and they will come together and make sense you will get the answers that you're seeking to whatever question that you have that you have oh let's see what I have to say for you Aurora you are flying high my people which may threaten others but don't descend cancer because others will soon become inspired by you. I told you, you're going to motivate people. And the angel Ray is saying you must do some yoga and exercise cancer. Because they are essential to your well-being, peace of mind. They will bring peace to your mind and spiritual growth right now. Is your name Crystal? The angel Crystal is speaking to you lot. Have faith and hope. Because there is something positive and new on the horizon. 
that you just can't see yet. Rochelle, is this your name? As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, Cancer, prosperity is coming to you now. I told you, come up out of your head and get into your heart. Follow your intuition. Follow that gut feeling. Let's see what they want to tell you. Patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information, people. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. And your last card is Seraphina. I am the angels of family. A happy change or addition is coming to your family cats. I told you. And the bottom of the deck is Sonia. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, Cancer, and at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. How beautiful was that? How fucking beautiful was that? Let's get some romance cards before your girl be out. Romance cards, any messages for cancer? Yep, they spell it out over here. So they want you to trust this process. They want you to trust it, please. This situation is calling for you to have what? Some faith. And what did I tell you, man? Release that fucking ex. Release those things and those people that don't serve you because the time has come to clear your energy. These people, that person is draining the fuck out of you. Some of you are really being affected finan financially. Your career has been messed up. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. But boom, engagements are on the cards. Your love life is ascending, Cancer, to a higher level of commitment. If you want these kids, they're saying, make the bloody effort. And some of you are addicted to something, drugs, drink, porn, too much life, too much fast lane, whatever it is. Because too much of something's not good, cut it down. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, people. It can make you impotent. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And let's get a few more and then we're out. Wow tell you separation people time apart from your partner is on the horizon i told you some of you are living with that two of swords person and they're horrible religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so maybe you're spiritual your person's christian or vice versa or buddha whatever it is but it can work but there's some forgiving and healing to do for us people and changing of mindsets and renewing of it. As you release and heal the past, you, Cancer, are going to experience more love, more love of yourself, not someone else, in your present moment. The bottom of the deck, boom, children coming in for you. Your love life is being affected by these children or not having them. Don't worry. You will be a dad, you will be a mum. It will happen for you. So yeah, I hope this brought a word of encouragement, confirmation and insight to somebody. This is your girl D Virgo Tarot though, going to her bed now at 5.12am. So I'm wishing you love, love and more love from your girl D Virgo Tarot to to two and one more two are oh, we gonna play now ready for the show i'm about to take down you already know get the fuck out of my face now yeah you got it